Alright, Purge, I need your opinion on this cookie. That was a good last God, match right there. Damn. I went 16 and 0. <laughs> Purge, give me your opinion. Give me your opinion. Ready? Alright. One, right? We get oh two. my god. Right. We get three. Reload. Reload. Whoa! <laughs> Goofy! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 644.2 Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What I've guessed today is something a little bit different. What I've guessed today is the best class setup for BO4 right now in the beta. And first of all, I do want to say this is going to be a SMG kind of class setup. I do understand that ARs are really good in this game as well, like the KN, the ICR. But mainly, I am a SMG player, so that's why I'm going to be giving guys a SMG class setup and... I don't know, in my opinion, in the beta, I feel like SMGs are just a little bit better right now, Um, at least in my opinion. As I said, the SMGs just win so many crazy gunfights from long range, from medium range, and, and close range, and that's something the ARs in my hand can't really do right now. Maybe that's going to change in the future, in the real game, and stuff like that. But as of right now, if you guys are trying to uh, get the most kills, do the, you know, the best on your team and stuff like that, trust me, try out the SMGs if you're not a big fan of them. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Starting off for the weapon, I'm actually using the MX-9, and this in my opinion is the best SMG in the game right now. Honestly, the only weapon that kind of competes with this and compares to it is the Spitfire, and this is pretty good, but honestly, I like the MX-9 a little bit more. Maybe, as I said, in the future, in the, in the real game and stuff like that. The Spitfire is going to be a little bit better, but as of right now, if you want the most kills, the, you know, 100 pluses and stuff like that, and, and go for them, try out the MX-9. It's the damage on it, the range on it, the rate of fire, and also um, the accuracy is just pretty much balanced and, and just really put well together for a SMG. Now for the optics, I'm actually using the second um, optic. This is the Tritonium sight or something like that. This is like the ELO sight from previous Call of Duties like Infinite Warfare. Um, honestly, I'm usually a reflex sight type of person. I like using the red dot, but for this weapon and just this game in general, I like using the ELO sight or the tritonium sight, whatever you want to call it, as I said. Um, so try it out, and it also comes with a blue dot, so if you are a fan of that, um, then, you know, just use that. For the first attachment, I would recommend using is rapid fire. For the SMGs in this game, I feel like you honestly need rapid fire. There's so many times where I feel like I should be getting the kill, um, but then I don't because someone just, you know, hits a headshot bullet on me or or just, you know, shoots before me and stuff like that. But with rapid fire, when I'm using rapid fire on all my SMGs, I feel like I usually win those gunfights. And yes, sometimes it might be luck. Sometimes it might be, um, you know, the person might be weak and stuff like that. But rapid fire just in general just wins so much more gunfights. And if you're playing like hardpoint, TDM, domination, um, rapid fire is the way to go. The next attachment I'm actually using is Advanced Mags, and this is going to be a magazine where it increases your reload speed, so it's pretty much like a like a fast mag or a dual mag, and also it increases your ammo capacity. So normally, if you're using this weapon, it comes with 35 bullets in its magazine, but with this Advanced Mags, it comes with 40, which is pretty life-saving. Sometimes in those you know clutch situations, the 5 extra bullets can really help you out. Now the final attachment I would recommend using 100% is Long Barrel. Um, honestly, SMGs are good, but at long range, they sometimes can not give you those kills that you're like, oh my god, I should have got that kill and stuff like that. So that's why I'm using a long barrel. Um, it just, I don't know, it just helps out. I feel like it's probably like one of the best attachments. High caliber is really good as well, but long barrel, in my mind, it just gives you a better like kind of situation um, if you're like, you know, fighting someone from long range. Instead of going for the headshot with high caliber, you could just, you know, shoot them in the body. It's way easier and make that long barrel do its work. Uh, now next up, for the gear, I'm actually using Stimshot, and Stimshot, hands down, the best thing you can use right now. The body armor is pretty good, but the body armor is really easy to kind of shoot through and shred the body armor, you know, on the character and stuff. So Stimshot, faster healing, you move uh, while kind of maintaining your control of your weapon when popping a Stimshot. And also one thing you guys might not know, you can actually slide, shoot, and use a stim shot, which is kind of overpowered. I'm not sure if it was um, a glitch that I, it, you know, it happened to me, but there was a few times where I was able to slide, shoot my weapon, and also pop a stim shot and get those kills, which is, uh, you know, pretty unfair if you think about it, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So stim shot, as for the gear, 
Uh, for the equipment, I really don't have anything. I'm only level 16, but honestly, I would be probably using a frag if I if I was level 29. A frag would be uh, the best option. Now, as for the perks, the first perk I'm using is tactical mask. Tactical mask pretty much increases your resistance to concussions. Um, you know, pretty much everything that's kind of annoying in the game, like flashes and stuff like that. So attack mask is the best thing. Cold blooded is really good as well. Uh, but attack mask, if you're playing with, uh, you know, a team and you're playing hardpoint or domination, attack mask is really going to save your life. Um, as for the second perk, I'm using lightweight, and this is the best perk I would say uh, right now to use. Gun ho is okay. It's not something I would recommend using. And scavenger, as I have. It's decent if you're going for streaks, but, you know, it's a beta, everyone's gonna be playing kind of weird and, and odd, so Lightway, uh, Lightway is just gonna make you move a little bit faster, and with SMGs, that's something you want. As for the final perk, you wanna use Ghost, there's so much UAV spam right now, no matter what game mode you play, the UAV spam is insane, so Ghost is pretty much gonna help you out with that, and, uh, you know, just, it's gonna help you get kills that you shouldn't be really getting, if that, if that makes any sense. Now the only thing I'm using for the wild cards is primary gunfighter, and that's the that's the reason I have three attachments. If you guys don't use that card, you can only have two attachments in this game. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the class. This is the main class I'm using right now in the beta. Um, like I said, maybe in the next week or you know in the real real game something will change, and you know this weapon or or this class setup won't be that good. But as of right now, it's hands down the best SMG class setup. Uh, for the score streaks, I'm using UAV, Hellstorm, and Attack Chopper. Honestly, it's you know it is what it is. I I could be using something a little bit different, but I just keep it because it's you know it works for me, so that's why I'm using. It. As for the specialist, I would recommend using Nomad 100%. Honestly, the K9 unit is really good and very reliable. If you're playing domination, if you're playing game modes that pretty much the enemy spawns a lot behind you and just in random places. The K9 unit tends to kind of go like after them and kill them before they can, you know, hop a flag or, or shoot you in the back. The K9 unit is really reliable and as I said, it's pretty easy to get. Now the mesh mines are kind of annoying and not really reliable, at least in my opinion. I don't really use them that much. Pretty much what it is is you put two mines together, they link up, and once someone crosses that, it explodes in their face. And yes, sometimes like hardpoint or you know, TDM, it could be good as you're camping and stuff like that. But I, I'm not the biggest fan of this. Um, I just like the K9 unit the most, and that's what I'm using. Also, the recon is very good. Uh, the vision pulse is insane. If you get if you get that and you're like breaking a hard point or, you know, trying to cap a domination flag, um, you know, if you're losing and stuff, the vision pulse is insane. You can see the enemies through walls for like a, a million miles, and it's just really good to use as well. So once again, it's really up to you, but in my personal preference, I like using the Nomad a little bit better. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments, but once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.